In this video, I'm going to talk about a simple linear regression model where the relationship between two variables will be explored. We are trying to explore how variable y is affected by variable x. So the relationship we are trying to show is how x variable is affecting another variable y. An example could be how the wage level is affected by the education level of a person. So here we are dealing with a very, very simple linear regression model where we are interested in knowing relationship between these two variables. In this chapter, we are going to explore simple linear regression models. Simple means we are exploring only the relationship between two variables and we are interested in knowing how a particular variable x is affecting or explaining another variable y. And uh, uh, this variable y, it has many names. It is called a dependent variable, explained variable, a response variable, a predicted variable, a regressant. So these are some of the names that this uh, variable y is known for. This variable x, on the other hand, uh, it is called an explanatory variable, an independent variable, a control variable, a predictor, or a re regressor. It's called a predictor because it is predicting this education variable. It is predicting the wage of a person. And this is essentially what we are interested in knowing, how education of a person determine the wage of that person. Uh, this is what we are trying to explore in a simple linear regression model. So in this chapter, we're going to talk about only two variables and we're going to assume that those two variables are uh, linearly related to each other. Now, if we are interested in knowing how a particular variable y, it is determined by another variable x. And uh, essentially, we want to know how this variable x, it causes variable y. In, in, in this example, how education causes wage of a person. But there are three issues exploring the relationship between these two variables. Number one, how do we allow for other factors to be included in the model? For example, it's not the education of the person that alone determines the wage of a person. There may be a lot of other factors, those may be determining the wage of a person. So how do we allow those factors to be included in the model? That this is the first issue. The next issue is what is the functional form of the relationship between X and Y? We are going to start with a, a simple case and then we're going to extend uh, this model to include uh, non-linearities of x variables. And the third issue is how can we determine or capture the characteristic paribus relationship between x and y? How can we say that holding all other factors constant, if education increases by one year, what will be the impact on the wage of that person? For example, if there are two identical individuals, but one has one year extra education as compared with the other, what will be the difference in their wage level? So these are the three issues that we want to determine in a simple linear regression modeling framework. So let's talk about the first issue. The first issue is how can we include other factors in the model? This issue is uh, a simple we include an error term in the model so this term is called error term so what this error term capture is whatever is left over that is whatever is not explained by the education it will be captured by this error term so we can say education uh, determines wage of a person and anything else which is not captured by education it will be captured by this error term u that's how we tackle the first issue the next issue is, what is the functional form between y and x? The way I wrote this equation, there is linearity between education and wage, and also between y and x. In this case, which means no matter at what level we are measuring the effect of x on y, it's going to be the same at all the levels. So this is the assumption of linearity, or in other words, it's the functional form that we are describing here. And if we assume the same type of functional form here, we what we are saying is, if education increases by one unit, no matter 
what's the initial level of education is it's going to increase the wage of a person the same way that is moving from five years of education to six years of education that an increase of one year of education it's going to have the same impact on wages as moving from 14 years of education to 15 years of education so this is what we are assuming here and obviously later on we're going to explore that we can relax this assumption and we can explore other functional forms uh, in the model and the third issue of Caterus Paribus it's not easier to deal with for Caterus Paribus relationship we need two assumptions the first one is that the expected value of this error term it is equal to zero that is sometimes we may be over guessing sometimes we may be under guessing but on average our guess is all right i'm going to explain it to you using a graphical representation in the next video and the next uh, assumption that we're going to make is that the expected value of uh, u depending on x is zero so if we have these two assumptions met then we can say that this variable is causing another variable y so we're going to start with very very simple we're going to assume that both of these assumptions are met and then we're going to apply simple linear regression models and later on we're going to relax these assumptions and see what happens uh, when these assumptions are relaxed so what this relationship or this equation is telling us is that the average value of the unobservable is the same across all slices of the population determined by the value of x and uh, it is common average which is necessarily equal to the average of u over the entire population in our wage education example uh, we said that education determines wages anything which is not captured by education we know that it's it will be captured by this term u so say uh, this is ability ability of a person and uh, obviously it is very hard to measure ability of a person ability of a person it is captured by this term u what we are assuming here is that the ability of a person which has eight years of education it is exactly the same as the ability of a person with with the 16 years of education if we think about it the average ability increases with the years of education then this assumption is not met that is on average people with more ability they choose to become more educated and uh, which means uh, this term it is correlated with this term the more able you are the more education you will get the higher will be your wages so it seems like there will be a kind of link between uh, this term u and uh, education so this assumption is false in that case our goal is to determine the causal relationship between x and y we're going to explore what effect x has on y and in the next video i'm going to show you the graphical representation of the simple linear regression model and i'm going to explain what these uh, two parameters are representing okay see you in the next video